Tonight we're having a local delicacy in Southeast Asia, and that's Golden Retriever drumsticks. It's these little drumsticks here. We're gonna you just grab these off. You slice over here. Hey, wait, I'm, excuse me, I'm trying to uh, show you the Labrador recipe. Can you please behave? So we slice around it here. You get a bit of the rump. The rump's a good thing. You, you can stir fry that. You can saute it. You can braise it. Um, the shanks down here. You get a bit of tender flesh off those as well. And uh, can you make sure you clean your feet before you jump in the oven? All right, thanks. Got that clear. So you got the you got the internal organs there. Some some good uh, probiotics in the in the dog. So yeah. So yeah, you, you've enjoyed your life. You've been a happy dog, and and now we're going to slit your throat and. Uh, we're gonna cook you up and eat you. And we're gonna shit you out in the toilet. How do you find how do you find about that? That's pretty good, isn't it? That's a good deal. See, happy dog. See people, it's all about not eating farmed animals, it's about eating happy animals. This dog's had a great life, and tonight we're gonna to slaughter the heck out of it. We're gonna rip its guts out, slap it on the barbecue, roast it up, bit of braising, just sauteing. Sophisticated food, it's local food, it's sort of organic, because this dog's been fed organic, so it's great. It's fine, dogs had a happy life. Clear conscience, feast up, great stuff, and uh, we sit around drinking some wine. And this is another one here. It's uh, it's half pig, half dog. So it's quite a, we call it um, pog, sort of you know, half pork, half dog. Quite good. It's all about trying new things, you know, being in exotic countries, trying exotic foods. You know, so how, how do you feel, you feel about that? We're gonna, I'm the human, you're the dog, you're the animal, I've got dominion over you. So, you know what I mean? It's just, this is how it is. I'm bigger than you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna, this is how it is. You, know? you understand that, don't you? I need to eat, and you know, if I didn't kill you, then there'd be dogs running everywhere. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, so all these vegan propaganda crazy people, they, they're, they're psychopaths, man. Vegans are nuts. I mean, it's like, you gotta kill animals, you gotta eat them. There's no way around it. You know? just, just slit their throat. Kill the animals. <laughs> well, I'll kill them. There's a cat over there. I'm gonna get stuck into the cat. There's a cat. I love cats. I mean, cats, chickens, fishes. If it's got legs, if it's got a heartbeat, I want to eat it. I want to. I want to. I want to feel its blood. I want to. I just want to get into it. Protein-rich, bloody stuff. It's great. You know, cook it up, fry it up, eat it raw. More for me. Thanks a lot. Someone ordered pigs in a blanket. These are free-range, organic pigs, and I've actually seen where they come from. They come from like little places on the island, so they're not a factory farm. These are not factory farm animals. This guy's not having a good time. They, they just get sold here. So people against factory farming, great, but like, why kill it all? Go vegan. The durian, the fruit, the fruit's tied up as well. So this durian's actually being tortured. I mean, some people say, Harley, you're a vegan, but you eat plants as well. And these plants are being tortured. You shouldn't do that. It's just the same as killing the animals. It's just the same as tying them up. And I'm like, I guess my reply is, go back to sleep. I mean, the thing I find absolutely amazing is in 2010, we have gold medal Olympic vegans, we have bench press national champion vegans, we have bodybuilding vegans, we have elite cyclist vegans, Tour de France riding vegans, you know, world-class athletes, the healthiest and fittest people on the planet as vegans. And we still have people who can't even run around the block, who can't even bench press their own body weight, saying, I don't know where I get my protein from. I don't think this vegan thing's a good idea. I think this is more propaganda and idealism. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Over 500,000 US citizens are dying every year from heart attack, and one anorexic person adopts a vegan lifestyle. They chip a tooth or lower their BMI, and people go, Oh my God, it's because you're a vegan. It's like, no, it's not. It's because they didn't make it work for them. It's like getting a car and driving on the wrong side of the road and wondering why you have a crash. No one blames the car. Everyone blames the driver. But when someone with uh, not much information adopts a vegan lifestyle and they get dropped off the deep end, everyone's quick to blame the diet. So if your goal is a vegan lifestyle, take advice from vegans, get the results you desire. Don't listen to the people who tried it under eight, 
because they had anorexia or orthorexia or bulimia or whatever, and they got dropped off the deep end and didn't have the commitment to like fully follow through on things and take advice from people getting results they desire. That's what I find interesting is there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, I'll try this, I'll try that. Hey, but they never contacted me. They never contacted Doug Graham or Dr. McDougall or all the other people out there who are getting great results. They never contacted these people. They just contacted quacky, wacko, cacao-selling, overweight, can't even run on the block people who like want to be breath air or something, and then they wonder why they get dropped off the deep end as well. So again, bottom line, don't mean to be mean and nasty, I just mean to be honest and truthful. So take advice and people getting the results you desire. It's as simple as that. If you want financial information, you wouldn't go ask a beggar on the street. If you want health and fitness information, ask the people who are getting the drug-free fitness results. If you want vegan information, ask the vegans, man. Dominate your life, have fun, and truly live your purpose.